but then I'll finish by looking at the common perineal nerve. Coming back to the biceps femoris like this, if I turn short axis to the structure, anterior will be on the right, what we see here is the tendon and muscle of the biceps femoris. Directly posterior to that is where we'll see the common perineal nerve. And then we contract that distally as needed. It will go around the fibular neck. It goes underneath the perineus longus, a site of entrapment. But basically, if we can identify the biceps femoris, it's directly posterior to that. Now you could look for that nerve, the common perineal nerve and long axis. Here I'm showing it right here. But as you can see, it's more difficult to identify in long axis because it blends in with other fascial planes. That's why when looking for peripheral nerves at upper and lower extremity, the short axis is really the key to identify the tubular nature and the honeycomb appearance of a normal nerve trunk.